We primed a dresser with some water-based one, two, three primer and even after 10 days of it drying, it was so easy to scratch it off. So we had to remove it and start our project over. While we sanded, we compared three of the best sanders for furniture and it was obvious after that what the best sander was. First, we compared the Surf Prep 3x4 sander versus the Surf Prep 5 inch orbital sander. We used 80 grit Surf Prep sanding screens on each sander. All sanders were on their highest speed and I tried to quickly sand with both. I set a timer for five minutes and sanded one side of the dresser with the Surf Prep 3x4 sander. When the timer rang, I stopped. And then I did the same thing on the other side of the dresser with the Surf Prep 5 inch orbital sander. And here are the results. In five minutes, this is how much I had sanded with the Surf Prep 3x4 sander. There was a small area about seven inches tall by six and a half inches wide that I hadn't sanded, but I was able to sand to the edge and in the corner all of the way. And yeah, there were still some areas where there were spots of paint. In five minutes, this is how much I sanded with the Surf Prep 5 inch orbital sander. There was another area this time just slightly larger at about eight and a half inches tall by nine inches wide that I hadn't sanded, but I wasn't able to get as close to the edges and I couldn't sand into the corner either. My husband sanded the top of the dresser working on the edge doing the same comparison. His comparison was a little bit harder to see, but they looked about equal. So then we tested the Surf Prep 3x4 inch sander versus the Ryobi Corner Cat sander that I recommend using as a Surf Prep sander alternative if you aren't able to invest in the Surf Prep sander. We didn't have Surf Prep sanding screens that fit this sander, but we wanted it to be a fair comparison. So I cut a couple of Surf Prep's 80 grit sanding screens to the shape of the detail sander. And then since we didn't have two more sides to test on, we tested on the drawers. I set my timer for five minutes again and started sanding. By the time I sanded all of the rectangle area, there was one minute and 17 seconds left on the timer. So it took three minutes and 43 seconds to sand this much. One major downside of the Ryobi Corner Cat Detail Sander in this case was its shape. It was hard to get the front and back edges because of the point of the sander. And then the other end of the sander isn't completely squared off or flat, so it was hard to get right up to the edges too. The hose connection also got in the way in this case and scratched the raised trim. Then I sanded another drawer with a fresh 80 grit sanding screen and the Surf Prep 3x4 inch sander. Holy moly, that was fast. By the time I sanded all of the rectangle area, there were three minutes and 34 seconds left on the timer. So it took one minute and 26 seconds to sand this much. So it was so much faster. A major time saver was the shape of the sander. It was easy to get into all of the edges and the corners. It seemed to sand faster even in the middle of the drawer when the edges weren't a factor. Looking back at the videos, the Ryobi sander took about a minute to sand the middle between the hardware holes. The Surf Prep sander took about 30 seconds for the same area. In the end, I was blown away. I thought that the orbital sander was going to remove the paint faster than the 3x4, but nope, the 3x4 seemed to just be slightly faster. I wasn't shocked that the 3x4 sander did better than the Ryobi detail sander, but I was shocked that it was that much faster. It was like twice as fast. So what's the best sander to remove paint? In this comparison, the Surf Prep 3x4 sander outshined the other sanders. It's more versatile than the others and can get into areas that the others can't. And it's sanded faster than the other ones too. If you do want to invest in a Surf Prep sander or the sanding screens that I used in this video, use the code RAY10 to get 10% off your order. In this comparison, I use the sanding screens because I feel like they outperform every other type of sandpaper. Sanding screens stay sharper for longer, they don't get as clogged up, and when they do get clogged, you can lightly rub them against other sandpaper to remove the clogging. And I feel like they just remove the paint better than other sandpaper. Diablo and Surf Prep are the only ones that I've tried, but they both work very well. So what grit sandpaper do you need to remove paint from wood? I start with a lower number grit sandpaper. The lower the grit, the more aggressive it is. I like to start with either 100 grit sandpaper or 80 grit sandpaper to remove most of the paint. 
Then I move up to 120 grit sandpaper and sand everything again to smooth it out. Then I move to 180 grit sandpaper and then to 220 grit sandpaper to end with a smooth feel. And yes, it is best to slowly move through the grits just like that. It will help prevent sanding swirls and it will just overall give you a better looking finish in the end. I'm not gonna lie though, sanding to remove paint from wood is a long job. This nine drawer dresser took us a day to remove the paint, mostly because we had to get into the crevices by hand. You can remove paint from wood by using a chemical stripper, but it isn't necessarily any faster, but it takes less elbow grease. I have linked some tutorials on removing paint from wood with a chemical stripper in the description for you. You can also try using a carbide scraper to remove the paint, but it's also going to take a lot of elbow grease. Want to know more about the Surf Prep 3x4 sander and what my setup is? I've linked more resources in this video's description for you. Do you have a sander that you think would beat out the Surf Prep 3x4 sander? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. Thank you. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.